All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Tragic Life here. Um, we're in the middle of Perome's uh, journey or tell, whatever it's called. Um, we just finished with the city, the town of Mist or village of Mist or whatever it is, and following in Tella's footsteps in the cave and fighting a giant octopus thingy. Okay. Um, so now we're underground and we're going to visit the, what are these people? These are the dwarves. Okay. Um, before we go any further, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button or leave me a comment. Or how about all three? That'll work for me. This will be my third time doing this video. Um, I keep dying. Because I'm under level because I rushed uh, recording. But while we're here... We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get some treasures. I kind of know where all of them are at this point because, like I said, third try. All right, we got that one. I went the wrong way, but we'll go ahead and get these while we're here. All right. Oh, sorry, I did that one a little too quick. That was um, an either unicorn horn, a bronze hourglass, and a tent. And we have an antidote in here. So go back downstairs. We're done with this tower. We'll go ahead and go across to the other tower. Go upstairs. Let's see if I remember correctly. High potion. Was there anything else or was that it? That might have been it. Alright. So now we'll go upstairs and get the last four treasures in this tower. Uh, spider silk or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Hermes sandals. Cottage. And a dry either. Okay, I think we have to go all the way back to get to the exit because, you know, game. Alright, we'll go ahead and go downstairs. Um, and one more. In here, check this pot here, you get a thousand gil, and we got one more treasure to go before we go ahead and exit this entire area. I did not go the right way, life happens, we'll continue, ah, there we go. There's a phoenix down, high potion, and an echo herb. So we're, we're, we've gotten all of the looting treasure for this section. Go ahead and move towards the story portion. Okay. Sid, well, well, well. I haven't seen you in a dog's age, King Giat. I don't know what that means, but okay. How are you doing? I'm bit of the bit, Oridia, and who would this pair be? It's good to see you again, Your Highness. I am Parome Masidia, and I am Palom. My, how could I have not known? You've grown so much, both of you. Are they here? I'm gonna get like a voice changer in the future, new voices. Luca, Palom and Parom, Sid too. It's great to see you, Luca. Uh, uh, yo. Okay, what the heck was that, sir? You managed to become a stylish little lady since I last saw you. Do you like it? I was never a fan of Dwarven fashion, really. So what brings all of you here? Well, we were hoping that Radio could take us to the Fey March. It's a part of my Sage training. It is it now. Well, I appreciate you paying us a visit then. Feel free to stop by anytime you please. You... Oh, excuse me. Our family to every dwarf in the underworld. We better get going. What? You're leaving already? How rude are you, Palom? I don't really see that being rude, but hey, whatever. We just came to say hello, Palom. We'll come back soon, Luca. I'll go with you. Hey now, let's not get carried away. You don't mind, do you, Father? I want to ride on Sid's airship. Luca, I don't want you getting in their way. 
feel like I'm reading really fast. Ah, interested in my airship, are you? I'd expect nothing less from the Dwarven Princess. So it's okay? Sure, but only as far as the passage of the Eidolon, okay? Wahoo! Well, that's wonderful, Luca. I tell you, all this child talks about is you guys, and you wouldn't believe how she goes on about below. Ah, hey, hey, whoa, you don't know what you're talking about, Father. Hey, settle down, I told you, I don't want you causing any trouble. You can't be just giving someone secrets away, sir. All right, so we're going to go ahead and leave. All right. Do, do, do. Are you ready to head off? We are. Then hang on, the Falcon's ready to fly. I, I do enjoy the music in this game. It's subtle, but it's still pretty decent. Um, I've been getting a lot of copyrights on this one, just but I can use the copyrights. They're not bad ones, I guess. If that makes sense. Uh, so, how are you, man? Uh, okay. What are you being so shy for? It's, isn't it obvious? Sh shut up, I am not. So you're really trying to become a sage? We're almost there. Prepare for landing, everyone. Luca, you come and help me. Okay. Okay, I know this is Perome's story, but it does feel like it's Palome's. All right, Luca, would you mind waiting here for us with Sid? Ah, how come? Don't you want me to come along, Perome Palome? We're here for training, Luca. That, though that's not all. Oh? Right, oh, well, just run some maintenance on the Falcon while we're waiting. There's a few is issues with the engine I gotta do something about. Okay. We'll be back soon. <coughs> See you later. Sure thing, good luck. Hang in there, Paloma. Okay, okay already. Okay, so there's some cool things here. Ah, sorry, my fiance is watching Supernatural. I was trying to remember this episode. This is the one where uh, no one can die in the city. And, uh... Um... Their fortune teller lady loses her eyes. She already lost her eyes. Oh, did she? Yeah. Oh. A while ago. Oh, no, this is the one she dies. Oh. Alright, sorry guys. Supernatural, that's like my thing. Like, it's been my thing for years. Um, I've probably finished it like three times. Not obsessed, but I do love it. <laughs> She's watching it for her second time. Um, so... This is a really good place to get HP and MP. Um, also, this is a really good place. When you're in here, you can go ahead and use Riddy as the Eilons. They're free. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Uh, the bad guys in here are tough. I'm actually going to pause my video and level up to 20. Um, and I will see you guys in a second. All right, so I did it. It took me a little bit more than a couple seconds, but we are now level 20, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. Uh, this is not a good dungeon for three magic users. <laughs> Just heads up. So while we're in here, let's go ahead and... There's two gargoyles and two needle hogs. If I can get one where they're not facing me, I'm going to show you a band, and then we'll move forward. All right, that was two treants. Also, I wanted to correct something. I said that I said that the uh, Eidolons are free right now. I, I'm not sure what the guide meant by that, but it's it's definitely not. You were using MP, so I don't know. All right, that was three gargoyles, and as you saw, Rio gained her twentieth level. This is an either. Come 
back this way. All right, that was two bombs and two gray bombs. Continue this way. Go up. Okay, that was three more gargoyles. Um, the encounter and rate uh, encounter rate in here is insane. Just a heads up. All right, made it to the second floor. So we're gonna go. All right, we finally got one that was not facing us. So we're gonna go ahead and hit him with thunderstorm. I don't think it's gonna be enough to kill him, but maybe we'll be lucky and it will. Killed one. Play with fire. Fire can kill it. It's a tree, right? Oh, that that wasn't cool. Thank you. Okay, that wasn't a fun fight. Um, the treants have ended giving me more game overs than anything else. So we're really. What does that mean? Attack, him, attack is down, black man. That, that actually works out. Gargoyle, a tree ant, and a needle hog. Okay, so up here we should run into a cottage. We are pacing the wrong way. Hold on, let me make sure our lives are good. Right, so. All right, that was a bomb and a gray bomb. This should be a high potion. Good, good, good. All right, that was two treants. This should take us downstairs. There's a save point there. That's kind of nice. All right. This is the final floor. Got an Echo Herb. I remember this high potion. You gotta go here and then down. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, oh, what is that? Well, you guys are gonna get to watch this fight because we have a Mort Blossom. We haven't seen one of those before. Um, I'm just gonna hit it with a... Hit everything with Pyro, and then everything with Pyro. All right. Okay, so decoy, sage of surplus, and a Hermes sandal. Okay, we're probably gonna get into a fight before we get back. All right, that was three gate gray bombs and a bomb. All right, we're gonna go this way. Oh wait, did I miss something? I think I missed something. I missed a... Uh, yeah, the top of the area of the dry either. Okay. What's this? The Eidolons, I can feel them. Rydia. What's wrong? The training ends here. What? But we've come all the way down here and everything. Is there a problem, Rydia? The Eidolons are not fond of humans going into the Fey March. Plus, once you enter the Fey March, time starts to flow erratically. You mean... 
if you spend too long in the fame march you'll wind up out of sync with the human world and everyone you know are you willing to risk that i am hello if we go in for just a little bit that won't put us out too out of sync with human time will it i can't say the two of you should wait here let me go with you no I'll be right back promise me that you won't follow me inside yeah alright we'll wait here for you I'll be back as soon as I can Jeez, why'd she even bring us here if she wasn't going to do this at the very end? Hello. Why do you think Rydia brought us here in the first place? Why? Well, because... Hmm. Good question, actually. Maybe she wanted to test our hearts. Maybe. Whoa. Rydia. Sorry to keep you. Keep us. It was just a few seconds. Rydia. All right, everything's fine. But, hello, no. I'm, I'm sorry. We better get back to the Falcon. Sid and Luke are waiting for us. Okay, that, that got a little weird. Um, was there a treasure this way that was? All right, so we now have... We can warp out. Okay. That was three gargoyles, and I'm gonna meet you at the ship. Be right back. All right, welcome back. There wasn't too many fights. I could have actually done that with you guys, but oh well. All right. Uh, actually, hold on. Before moving forward, yeah, I usually do this. All right, welcome back. Oh, no, no. Welcome back. Okay. Oh, we saw this in a flashback this part. Alright. There you guys are. How'd it go? So we've already seen this part. Great. Everyone's doing well. Get a, get a lot of training done? Um, yes, definitely. You bet we did. Well, guess what? I just made a big decision of my own. Huh? Luca is one talented girl she is. She diagnosed an engine problem that not even I can figure out. I gotta hand it to the dwarves. The way they approach technology is like nothing I've seen before. So we talked for a while and we decided that I'm gonna be Sid's apprentice. Really? That's great, Luca. Will King Giat let you? Way to spoil the mood, Polo. Are you ready to go? Take up your positions, Luca. Aye, aye. Present day. Okay, let's see. I guess you've arrived in troll by now. 
And here I am, stuck in the city all by myself. Are you there, Perome? How are you feeling, Elder? Oh, no worries. I feel fine today. That's wonderful. What bothers you, my child? Nothing. You wanted to travel to Troy instead of Pallone, am I right? I don't know anymore. Are you worried about Pallone? Well... You want to go off on your own, do you not? Just like Pallone. Elder. Pallone is a rare talent. There is little denying of that. But he is still young. That's why I sent him on this business. There is much for Pallone to learn through teaching others. I see. You've worried. You're worried, aren't you? Worried that Pallone will leave you behind someday. Perhaps. You two have been together your entire lives. As siblings, as friends, and as rivals. But more importantly, when you look at each other, you see yourselves. Yes, you are right. I'm sure you will find your own path to walk sooner or later, Perone. The best thing to do now is to think about what that path might be. Yes, Elder. There is no need to rush yourself. Ah. What is it, Elder? The dragon is crying. What? What dragon? Oh, that... What? It's the whale. The lunar whale. I should have stopped this when we got here, but oh well. I have called all of you here to discuss a dire matter. The lunar well has risen, setting off in the direction of the moon. With Palom absent, I would like to call upon the powers of the dragoon. The dragoon? You mean Cain? The one and only. If the rumors are to be believed, we can find him on Mount Ordeals. But... But what? I heard that Cain had severed all ties with Baron. Elder, this is certainly a serious matter that requires swift response. But surely Masidia's army of mages would be sufficient for its protection. Even if those dreadful events of the past were to visit us again? We got a frog. Why do we have a frog? Black magic is not a panacea for all our problems. Have you forgotten what the Elder taught us? But, but... How else should we respond to the moon's return? Elder. El I will travel to Mount Ordeals at once. But... Don't worry, I won't do anything rash. Be careful out there. Whatever you do, remember to stay out of harm's way. Yes, Elder. Who's the frog? Listen, everyone, we cannot afford to hurry ourselves into an ill-advised plan of action. Yes, Elder. I want you two to go with Perone. Yes, Elder. All right, this is where we're going to go ahead and stop. Um, until next time, I think that this is coming out on my 40th birthday. I know, that's crazy. Um, so enjoy, because I'm going to be enjoying my 40th. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I'm going to be doing something. Uh, I'm being watched by my Charlie. I can see his eye. Um, so until next time, adios amigos.